What's up guys, it's Wally Mariner here. I'm here with Bucky Sulu and the rest of the brothers that are available tonight from the Sons of Samoa Melipongi, Australia. I guess tonight, um, just as clarification and for disclaimer, uh, for those who will be watching this or for those who reach this in good faith, uh, please do not, not be dismayed or dishonored by what we say. Um, our opinions are only that, are just opinions. They're not mere words that will pierce you. If they do, please contact us on the link below. Secondly, to the family of uh, the tragic uh, loss of the young 15 year old a few days ago. Uh, Solomone, rest in peace. May you dance in heaven with all the angels. So I'll hand it over to one of our brothers, Bucky. He's gonna kind of kick us off, I suggest, in um, an aura where we're gonna be speaking just straightforwardly. And hopefully send messages out there to a lot of you young Polynesian kids. Uh, it's not just the Tongan community, it's not just the Samoan community. There's Fijian mixed in there, New Wayan. You know, all kids of the Pacific. And um, we hope that this message reaches you guys well. First of all, we'd like to offer our deepest condolences to the Tauwhiu Lunaki family during this dark time. Our hearts are with you. As the sons of Samoa, we hope you recover in God's way. Um, over this past, past week, as, as you're all aware of, there's been uh, trouble with our youth. Now, there's been a lot of trouble with our youth these days, especially with uh, surrounding the social media. Like, back in the days, you go around the block, do what you have to do, and everyone knows you from there. These days, you do something dirty in the dark, you put it on Facebook or, or on social media, and that's how these kids, they think they get so much empowerment from the internet. To, to clear things up for those who live in the areas where there's less, less vibrant, less vigorous, and less violence happening, in the lower Desol areas of your state, these are reflections of what happens when these children open up their doors. This is their world. You know, this is this not a lifestyle that they chose. It's just the lifestyle that they're stuck in. For some of these kids, it's like they're, they're in quicksand. No matter how good they do, you know, they still can't get out of it. But it doesn't mean that we dishonor these kids by turning the other way by the government's pulling systems away from them that don't work. These kids need help. As much as we can sit here in front of the camera every day of the week sending you guys messages and encouragement, at the end of the day these kids need action. And the only way for action to happen is if our community comes together with our government and we put our heads together and come up with a solution rather than opinions and facts that add to the problem. I reckon some of the boys here, some of the brothers here, have lived a very tough life. I mean, Bucky, for instance, here. Bucky, how old are you, brother? 23. Bucky here is 23. Now, we're going to rewind Bucky's life back, say, six years ago. So six years ago, Bucky, six or seven years ago, where, where do you think your life would have been like? Would you have been anywhere close to what these young fellas are up to out there these days? Nah, not even close, like it depends on, it, it also comes down to the era mm. which, which you you grow up in. These days it's more evolved around the internet like I said previously. And not only that, it's like these days islanders are we're caught up in the domino effect. Mm. Each piece keeps dropping but each generation come up, they want to be like someone who's out on the street. He wants to grow up, be like him. He wants to grow up, be like the older brother. And it keeps continuing. We need to start putting action like like Willie said, into place so that way we can put that solid wall to stop that last domino from falling. So, me, I, I'm, I'm lucky I was able to be a part of the Sons of Samoa. They helped me learn more about myself, especially my culture. Even those boys too, just go back to your culture. Your roots are always one. A lot, a lot of these um, actions that we're talking about, they're, they're pretty much solid foundations that are put in place to help these young people uh, physically and mentally. You know, um, a, perfect a perfect example, like uh, gyms, fight clubs, you know, not, not just normal gyms where you can go pump iron, walk out and looking like you're, you've got watermelons under your arms. You know, we're talking about gyms where these kids can go learn discipline, self-defense, and at the same time, it's family-orientated. There's no need for them to have these walls up. 
a lot of the males, predominantly males, younger males these days in the schools, they're just angry. They don't know how to let it out. They don't know how to speak. This is the Pacific Island weakness. As us men, we're too proud to speak. These kids are probably troubled, you know? I'm not saying that, I'm not making up an excuse for what happened, but we can't sit here and pinpoint things that we can do and we, or we can't do and can do and things that we think we can control and we can't. You know, we need to be able to do things physically, not just talk. You know, like these kids in our generation, listening to these messages, it falls on deaf ears. And like uh, another perfect example is, uh, is Rome behind me. Uh, Rome, let's, uh, let's, let's fast uh, rewind your life, say a decade back to a decade ago, um, tell, just give them an insight of what it is that you think you, would have, you were doing back then, as compared to the room now. Well, the difference for me was uh, my kids having children. It wasn't an easy road. You know, I was sent here to Australia, so I had to uh, find my own way sort of thing. <coughs> but uh, coming into the Central Samoa Melbourne, you know, with the Inga, it's all good, eh? Um, just to remind you, everything here we're doing is raw. Nothing's been staged. You know, this is not a PR stunt. You know, we're here just to just to speak out, and whatever you guys can pick up off it, whatever the the good, you can take the good. With the bad, please keep the bad with you as well. Uh, it's not really necessarily needed for us to drag our positivity down. But in saying that, a question to the also T. Now, for the brother T, who's back here, region also. T, he, he comes from a family of, uh, of predominantly males. You know, these boys have been around for a long time. They've been on the streets, they've seen a lot. They've been through a lot. They know what it's like and they know a lot. Do you know, with the head that you have on your shoulders now, what message could you offer to our youth out there today? So just need to relax, watching too much movies. What you see on TV, it's all actors, bro. Shanks and ships ain't nothing of us. These are the weapons that God gave us. This is what we should be using. Not against each other, but to build houses for our families. I'll say one thing here is what we're trying to send out to uh, the message we're trying to send out is it's not condescending anyone or the kids um, and, and the way you are raised and all that. You know what I mean? Like my brother said, um, it's a domino effect, you know. Uh, Kids see other people doing their stuff on the streets and all that. They want to follow suit. They think it's cool. Nah, it's not, eh? Straight up. Stay in school. Do school. That's what your parents came over here for. That's why they migrated here. They, not to see these guys out on the streets hanging out in malls and what, whatnot. <clears throat> my thing is, like, I fear for my sons. Are they going to fall into that same, that same system sort of thing? You know? They're going to be like that. So, but uh, one of the Oso's on uh, social media said that he'd beat his own kids up if they played up like that. Guarantee I'll do the same. My Oso's will do the same if they ever saw my sons up like that. So, yeah, keep a sane head, man. Cool mind, day, eh? Straight up. It's a, it's a concern. That's why we're all doing this. And uh, for, for all of you at home too, who are, <clears throat> who are trying to put this what, what has happened on to these uh, drill artists coming up, yes, what they talk about is very explicit too. But keep in mind, that that's their bread and butter for their family. They make bread and butter however it comes to, for their family, you know. So we can't we can't hate on them for their music. They, 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 it shouldn't be even in the talk. You know, I'm sure even all the great rappers, they talk about gats, this and that, but it's all, it's all part of their art, it's, it, it's art, it's craft, that, that's what they do. And, and all of those who's here, we all, we all work, we're all hardworking men. You know, we do whatever we have to do for our families. So just to separate all that, you know, I don't hate on those rappers who are coming up now, but kids, you know, it's not okay to be running around trying to live like that. Like, I don't know, these days, I don't know why people need to run around with a knife for, you know? Uh, it's a bit staggering. I don't know, I'm not blaming the school, I'm just, I'm just saying maybe these kids went home after school, quickly grabbed their knives or they had a hidden outside school grounds, but for students to be carrying uh, weapons 
to begin with uh, raises more questions about are our schools safe? Um, I'm not saying that we need to raise more alarms, but we do need to be more aware. Another thing is, I think a lot of the, a lot of the youth these days, they're pretty much trying to fit in. They'll see a group, they'll see them, they'll think the best of that group, and they'll be like, hey, I want to be like them. You know, and they follow suit like Bucky said, domino effect. Also to second, you know, the rap groups, the drill groups. Yes, one of the particular groups rap about shapes and shifts, but like Bucky said, they're not condoning you to go out there and use shakes and shivs. You know, nowhere in their music does it say for you to do that. You know, they're typically stating either their art or they're telling you a story of their life. So they're not telling you how do you live your life and what to do with your life. Okay, that's entirely up to you. And at 15, I think a lot of these young, young men, they already have the conscience to know right from wrong. You know, young men, you should already know bad from good. There's no need for you to go with so much hatred and take another boy's life. I feel just as sorry and condemned for those kids who did the tragedy rather than someone who, why? Someone is resting at peace now. No more pain for that kid. You know, he's, he's smiling, he's laughing, he's jumping. Yes, to his family, it's tough. It's real tough. No parents in this world should endure the pain of losing their child before their own eyes. No parent. No one deserves it. No man, woman or child on earth deserves to be taken like that. So, with the no violence, all I need to say is to our youth out there, be you. If you're not accepted for being you, then be happy to be you and be here. Because you'd rather be you and be here than be no one and be dead. You get that? Be thankful for the life that you have. Be thankful that you're here. Be thankful that you get to wake up every day. Whether you come from a broken home or a wonderful home, you have a home. Some people don't have a home. So I guess our message to to the youth is slow down, slow down. Enjoy your life as, as, as a teenager. There's no need for you to throw your life away over wrong decisions. The choices you make reflect what it is that you're gonna be or what it is that you're gonna do down the future. If I'm wrong, then we're wrong. We admit that, but if we're right, help us. To the Usos out there, to the OGs out there, to the Tongan community boys, if you watch this and it reaches you in good faith, give us a bell. Let's butt heads and let's do something. Let's not talk. Talk is over. We've seen the resiliation of talk. Lives have been taken. More lives will be taken if we don't do anything. Especially going back to uh, the case with the George. Rest in peace to George too, who passed away in mm -hmm. America. It shouldn't, how many times has this type of stuff happened before it got to George, before it got to Solomon, before everybody decided to do something about it? How many, how many years have gone past with, we've lost kids to the street and nothing has been done about it? This time should have been the time many years ago. Unfortunately, it is what it is, you know. We live in a life where it's always rush, 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 rush. Comes to a point where we don't even step back to have a look at where we're going. I feel like most of these youth these days need to really take a step back and have a look at where you are going, where, which direction you guys want to be. Set, your, set yourself some goals, places you want to reach. You don't want to be that person who grows up in prison, come outside, he's got nothing. you got family on the outside, but you've got nothing to offer your family. So I guess um, this brings us to a point where a lot of uh, encouragements, a lot of videos have been going up, which is awesome. Uh, they're great, they're lovely. Just, I wouldn't say a negative for me. Uh, one of the things that I stereotypically picked up in the majority of the videos was that a lot of the people were saying things like, tragedies like this happen because it starts from home. If I may be uh, transparent, these things don't start from home. You know, this is a good kid who comes from a great, great home, I'm sure. 
loving parents, loving family. You know, the family, what the family do in the vicinity of their own privacy and their own home doesn't mean or condone or reflect what it is that he's doing out there on the streets, no. Perfect example, uh, Faithy Owls kids or Faithy Girls kids or priests and preachers kids. A lot of people throw stones at these kids, point fingers, say that these are the worst kids of the type, like the type of churches and whatnot. The problem is, you're next to these people when they're doing those things. So that means you're on the same boat. Just because their parents have a status, it doesn't mean that they're any less important or any more important than you are. You know what it is? So you know right from wrong. The minute you leave your house, you know what you're doing. With every footstep that you take in this world, you know the choices that you're about to make is either going to be the right choice or the wrong choice. So there's a good uh, point what Willie's touched on too is he's got to think too boys. The footsteps you guys choose to follow is very crucial to the footsteps you leave behind. What, what, what you do and which path you want to follow, it's, 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 it's not just at that, it's, it's what you choose to leave behind. What, when you leave this world, what have you done? What have you left? You know, I know I've, I, if I was to go today, tomorrow, wherever, I know I've left footsteps with, with my old sort. I know they could look after my kids. Me, I'm 23. To some, I'm old. To others, I'm young. But still, you don't get to a certain age and then you stop learning. You got we, It's always constant. You don't, you don't hit the highest paid job and you know everything. You're going to always fuck up. Yeah, so just be mindful, you know, all polys, we all need to stick together. I'm not saying to stick together so we can go against the Barangis or the white fellas. It's nothing like that. You know, our skin colour is pure. With our mafganga, it's pure. I've, I've, I've put in a post, many people can find our mafganga, but our mafganga is only given to certain people. Who knows, probably you running around with a shake of shoes, you put that down tonight, you could be one of us tomorrow. There's always room for improvement, boys. It's not going to change today, it's not going to change tomorrow, but eventually we hopefully hope that this video can help change some of you young fellas and how you, how you guys are thinking. I've got two kids, those are footsteps that I need to start thinking about too. My footsteps I leave behind. The boys with their kids and their families, their footsteps they leave behind. That's what you guys really want to look at. Um, in saying that, on behalf of our, our heads, and with my also Willie here, as the sons of Samoa would like to say, Solomon, Mahuya no Malama. Uxos Pueblo. Ain't of the life. Uxos Pueblo. Ain't of the life. Sound game.